What's up everybody, it's Jason Moore with the Safe and Healthy Kids Wellness and Nutrition Department here with a resource deep dive video. Uh, now these resource deep dives look r closer at one particular resource and dive in and show you how to really, really use them. So let's take a look. Today's resource is the Catch Virtual Classroom. Um, and this is a great program to use with your students um, and we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through how to sign up now if you've done any after school trainings with Charles Dry uh, you've done some stuff with catch it's a program we really like uh, they do a lot of physical activity lessons and a lot of nutrition lessons that we really like if you know the go slow whoa nutrition lesson um, that's from catch and uh, that's another one I'll go over in a little more detail in another video but let's take a look at how to sign up for the Catch Virtual Classroom. So if you're gonna to go to catch.org um, and look for a spot that says Parent Resources. You can also go to catch.org slash pages slash health at home. I will post this link in the video description uh, so it'll be there for you. You'll scroll down and you can actually, uh, it's gonna ask you to make a Google Classroom account. So if you have a Google account, then all you have to do is press open Google Classroom. Um, and when you do that, it'll take you to Google Classroom. There's a little plus sign up in the right corner. You would press that to join a class and you would enter the code. You can see here X3N6RP5 to join the Catch Virtual Classroom. Um, if you don't have a Google account, you will need to create one to get into the Google Classrooms. Uh, and there has been some issues with school-based Google accounts. Um, sometimes you get in like a invalid code. Uh, that's because some school or organizations that use Google may be preventing you from joining external classrooms. To get around this, you would just uh, use your personal Gmail account or Google account and then join the classroom. Again, you'd go, you can just go to this website here that I'll post down in the video description go to open Google Classroom. It'll take you there. Um, and then you use that little plus sign and enter this code right here. Uh, and then you'll be able to join the classroom. This is what it looks like when you join the classroom. This will pop up, you'll click on it. And this takes you to this. There's a few things if you're not familiar with Google Classroom, there's a stream. Uh, that's where people post different messages. You can see there was a train webinar in um, back in June, and uh, so they haven't updated it fairly recently. But the main thing you want to go to is the classwork. This where this is where all the lessons and activities can be found. So if you look over here on the left hand side, you can see the table of contents. So the Catch MVP motivators and tips, um, fun family health. We can scroll through challenges. Uh, there's stuff on vaping prevention, tips for parents, one or two person games. Those are the ones I really like when you're doing uh, virtual teaching in your classroom uh, because students can do them by themselves. So we'll look at those a little later. And I'm actually planning on doing how-to videos for all those lessons as well to show you uh, how you can take these and do them virtually um, in your virtual after school program or your virtual classroom. Small group games. Uh, these are more designed for maybe families or when students are back in school. Uh, there's some mindfulness stuff because we all know that uh, stress can lead to um, some health, some negative health factors. So what do we do to be mindful? Uh, a lot of SEL stuff in here from family activities, nature walks, a gratitude list, some yoga um stretches and some breathing exercises. We've got activity breaks. So each of these sections is, it's pretty cool because it gives you a little thing right at the beginning how to use the section. You just click on there and you get the directions on how to use it. Health and nutrition, if you're gonna do a health lesson, and again, I will be shooting videos on um, the majority of how to do these lessons in your after school program. There's a lot of cool stuff on here. Why is hand washing important? Probably a, um, your kids know by now, but a good video to show different snacks, uh, healthy snacks and recipes. Maybe you can show them a video, talk about different stuff that they're doing. 
That's all located within the classwork section. The people section, you won't really have to use. There's not a lot there. It's just the people that are um, that oversee the classroom. So you can chat with them uh, or if you have any questions. So um, that is pretty much what uh, on the surface level is uh, number one, how to make your catch virtual classroom account. Very important. Um, and then some of the things in here. And again, I'll be shooting some more videos on exactly what these things look like and how to use them. Um, one thing we can look at maybe right now, if we just wanna uh, see it. One you can do right here is solo catch. So you'd click on that and it gives you the lesson plan and some talking points. So what you might need, so the kids would need something to toss up, one per student and one hoop, throwing, catching. And you can always um, change these up. If they don't have a hoop, maybe not do that section. Or they can aim at something in their living room, anything like that. So it gives you directions like try to catch with the hands uh, between waist and head or then above head, toss and catch with one hand, toss with one hand and catch with the other, uh, toss, clap, and then catch, toss, turn halfway around and then catch. Um, so little easy things they can do. They can work on their motor skills, uh, which is very, very important. And then there's some teaching suggestions. You can say, hey, watch your object as it drops into your hands. Keep your fingers open and close them as the object touches your hands. Uh, you can add different movements. And this is really cool what Catch does. It does have some social emotional learning reinforcement. Um, so you can ac accurately identify one's strengths and limitations and self-efficacy and self-esteem. That's what we're trying to do uh, here. So it gives you some stuff to do with SEL, like can provide a continuous stream of positive reinforcement during the activity. You always wanna be talking with your students. Hey, great job, I see what you guys are doing. Um, make sure you verbalize that that you say, like, I can see you, I see what you're doing on your screen, you're doing awesome, encourage them to test their skills. Hey, I see you got that, you're doing awesome, why don't we take it up a step, why don't you try this? Uh, giving them little step-by-step -step challenges so they can succeed and then test their limits because we all know growth happens uh, just outside our comfort zone. So if we're constantly testing students just little by little, then they can get better. And what this also has, we go back, oops, Excuse me, let me go to the classroom. We can exit that out. Is a little YouTube video that kind of demonstrates the activity. So for those visual learners, you can play this video for, for them. Hi, Catch family. My name is Shannon Brown, and today's activity will be the solo catch. So for starters, the equipment that you're going to need is one beanbag or softball and a hula hoop, teachers. Uh, the skill and concept of this whole activity is to throw, catch, effort, uh, relationships of body parts, and the SEO competency is self-awareness. So teachers, scatter your students using hoops to space them around. Make sure each of them have a ball, and on the teacher's signal, the students will toss the ball up, catch, and then we're on our way. Now that you have all the equipment for your students to get started, First, you're going to start with a low toss. All right, then once they get that, now start catching with two hands. So as you can see, um, the video there that kind of guides you through, uh, you can play that for your students or you can watch it yourself and then explain a little better. Uh, like they said, that one is for when kids might be back in school, but it's perfect to do also at home when they have their own personal space and they can toss anything in a bean bag, a uh, wadded up ball of paper would be perfect. That's what I use when I was out at sites doing uh, lessons. Here's one on steel abs, cone reaction, jump the circuit, dice or size, that's one of my favorites, stretch or size, 10 second fitness. Um, so all kinds of cool resources on here and we will be doing, or I will be doing some more videos on the particular resources, showing them off um, and then how you might teach them in your virtual after school program. That was our deep dive into the Catch Virtual Classroom again, uh, creating that Google account, registering for the classroom, and then checking out those resources and look for 
more videos based on this resource and showing you how to use particularly those nutrition lessons as we teach kids that um, health matters and what they, they eat can really, really make a difference in their overall health, which is especially important during these times. Thank you, and I'll see you in the other videos. Have a great day.